Rose. Hi. Hi, welcome to another one of our Garnet Rose Stitchers Floss Tube videos. Yes. Um, I'm Jeanette. I'm Cheryl. And uh, we're so excited that you guys have decided to join us for video number 14. And this yeah. is take two. Yeah. Because apparently... I didn't press record. Or we my, my or finger. Something. Anyway. I don't know. So we're Fun here. times. Here we are. Yeah. So yeah, we're so glad that you guys are here and um, yeah. that you've decided to hang out with us again for... What did I say? Floss 214. Yes. So it's Sunday, January 28th, 2024. Mm -hmm. So this is the first video, first official floss tube of 2024. So that's cool. Yeah. So if you're here, yay. Thank you. And um, thank you to all the new subscribers that we've received because we're, what, it, what was the number? Almost 1,200. Almost 1,200, mm -hmm. which is really cool. And um, I know a lot of that was from from the Whip Go, no, Whip Go, Whip Parade. Whip Parade. Um, but like... You know that's cool like so if you if you are watching this one after subscribing to the whip parade from from the whip parade thanks for being here yeah thank you we're so grateful for you guys and this yes. has been a really fun project for us um she was telling me just this morning that we're coming up on a year yeah we, so next month it'll be our floss one year tube floss, floss anniversary tu floss tube anniversary whatever <laughs> what is that called i don't know I don't anyways know. but yeah so i'm super excited that we have made it this far and yeah um that you guys have hung out with us and it's been a lot of fun mm -hmm. so anyway uh with that being said okay what are we talking so, about today so okay so we are going to market because if you've if you have been around for a while you know that Jeanette and I work at Maggie's on Main in Idaho and um I am the person that purchases mm-hmm that is what my, I, what did she call me? A purchasing agent. Oh, I that's what it says on my business card. Does it? <laughs> yeah. I'm the purchasing agent. So, and that's true because I, if it's a new product from a, from a uh, designer, I get all those emails and mm -hmm. then I order those products. So, um, I'm the one that heads up all the like trade shows. So like marketplace, expo, needlework all market. I had all of that. So, um, this year, uh, Maggie's staying home and she's sending Jeanette in her place. So she's super excited. I'm trying not to be too excited. <sighs> she's going to have a whole scenario of situation <laughs> because I know what it's like. It's still pretty fresh. We've only been twice. Yeah. So I remember what it was like seeing Kimberly Jolly the first time. Oh man. That was cool. And I got to take a picture. Yeah, Paulette Stewart. Paulette, yeah, meeting Paulette Stewart, and she's, like, beautiful in person. Yeah. I just. I mean, I mean, she's beautiful in her pictures, but, like. Yep, yep. I want to. And seeing the things in person. That's it. really fun. Um, and we are going to be your personal shopper for Market, and we hope that you will allow us the privilege of doing so. Um, the one thing that we changed this year is we only have, we're only doing a, um, a wish list situation. Mm -hmm. So what that means is we have an online wish list through our website, um, www.maggiesonmainid.com, and I will have that here mm -hmm. um, so that you can see that. And um, I'll try and have a link too and all that jazz. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the link. You're going to fill out the form completely. It does have a little blip on there about um, limited edition items, which I'll cover in a second. And um, you fill it out, you s click submit at the bottom, and what that will do is that will s automatically email me me that form that you just filled out with your requests. So the one thing that we require for, or we hope that you'll give us when you're giving mm -hmm. us your wish list, is the designer's name. Mm -hmm. So like Plum Street or, I don't know, Manny Dodonna or whoever, right? You put their, their name, and then if you know the name of the chart, Great. Put that there. <laughs> that helps. If you don't know the name of the chart, put what you what it looks like. And then usually what I'll do is I will see that and then I will confirm with you that this is what you want mm -hmm. and you say yes. And then I will take your information. I will then put it on my fancy little spreadsheet that I have on my, <laughs> my market spreadsheet and then uh, that I use to make sure that everything gets purchased. And then also what the benefit of this is, is that your request that you send to us will then be emailed directly to you as well. So you can keep track mm -hmm. of where you pre-ordered things 
and that you pre-ordered it from us at Maggie's on me. Mm -hmm. So um, it's super easy. Um, all you have to do is literally click a link and fill in the fields. First name, last name, phone number, email, where, how you're picking it up. If you're picking it up at our market release party, which is on March 16th, 2024, which would be super awesome if you came. Yay. And um, if you're not able to come to that, then you'll come after that date because that's when all market items will be available mm -hmm. is March 16th of 2024. And so if you decide that you're going to come after that day, then you'll click that box. And then if you are not local and you still want to pre-order with us, then you'll click the box that says ship items to me. Mm -hmm. And then after we get everything home and tagged and all the things, then we will then contact you for payment for your products and get all of your contact information to all mail right. it. Yeah, so super easy. Well, actually, she'll probably be doing that. Uh, yeah. I do a so, lot of shipping. Yes. <laughs> well, that, yeah. So um, so the one note that I have about uh, limited edition items. Mm -hmm. So we do have a tab on our website that is for uh, 2024 uh, Cross-Stitch Market, which is what it, I think is what the tab is labeled because we only had so many characters. Oh. <laughs> um, and so you can click on there. And if you click that tab it'll have anything that is considered a limited edition so a limited edition item is something that will only be available um for people who attend market and are able to get the item mm -hmm. so like right now um as of this filming um the one thing that's on there is the uh the nashville needlework market cookbook which is becoming a collector's item the only way to get them is if you have attended market um, and I already pre-ordered some from Yarn Tree to make sure we have a number. Um, and so if you want yours, you need to prepay for that item. Mm -hmm. And then I will get that at market and then it'll be available along with the rest of the items that you've requested. Um, and that goes for all the things that are considered limited edition. So if you're interested in something that is limited edition and you do not see it on our website, you can still send us the form and I will check to see if it's something that I can get. Um, if it is not something that I can get, I will let you know. If it is, I will send you an, <laughs> I'll send you an invoice for you to prepay for that limited edition item. So, um, and if you have any questions at all, you can always call the shop um, and we can do our best to answer those questions. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that's all for market. Um, it's fast approaching. So let the oh, awesome yeah. like tidbits and sneaky peekies commence. Yes. After we come home from market, um, we'll probably have another, I don't know, video or something mm -hmm. talking about our experience. So keep an eye out for that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, the other announcement, oh, is about like from the comments from our our WIPGO, WIPGO. I keep saying that. Whip parade. Whip parades. Because we had two parts because they were... It was really long, but oh man, was it fun. It was excessive. I it was so good. <laughs> I can't believe that between the two of us, we have over 80 whips. That's... I can. Okay, I guess I can. I started at something else since then. <laughs> it's okay. I have enough, a couple of new starts. I haven't started yet, but got a couple. Anyway, continue. I, I digress. Yeah, okay. So anyway, back to the, <laughs> the comments. So in the, in the whip parade, um, we had begged the question from you. Would you be interested in seeing a quilt parade mm -hmm. and a kit parade? And everyone was like, yes, please. So look for that in the future. It probably won't be until, what did you say, like April, April. or something like After that. After market, once we settle down from that, but then we're going to be prepping for shop hop. So we'll see. Anyway, we'll squeeze it in. <sighs> we'll figure it we'll out. Um, in there somewhere. I'm not going to commit to a time. But also, if you, we still have only a few spots left for the retreat, the Stitching on the River retreat at Maggie through Maggie's oh, on Main. Mm -hmm. So if you are th like hemming and hawing about whether or not you want to come. I, I jump on that bandwagon real quick because we're down to like, I think we only have 20 spots, 20 left. spots. Yeah. So, or actually we got more yesterday. So it's it less, than, be that less than that now. So we're about 80% capacity. So yeah. if you're interested in coming, we would love to have you. Yeah. Um, I it'll know be it's fun. A commitment, but it'll be super, super fun. It'll be fun, and I think you will enjoy it. I can't wait to meet Annie. I'm really excited to meet her. Well, of course, we'll see her at market too. Yes, <laughs> we will be in her room often. Yes, because I have things to discuss with her well, about there you go. the retreat. So, so excited. Anyways, okay. yeah. all right. Okay, so first thing we're going to talk about um, is finishes, um, because we've talked. We've said this twice because 
take two. Um, <laughs> what did we already talk about? We talked, we got, we got through this. So, um, if you are new and have not been, this is your first video after the whip parade, you will not know that I have a dislike of Monaco, mm -hmm. 28 count Monaco. Why do you not like Monaco? What is it about Monaco that you do not care for? It shreds my thread, even if I change the needle. So mm. if I use a fat needle, it is hard to get through the fabric. Because the weave is tight? Because the, yeah, it's because yeah. it's like a, it's, it's thicker. The, how they describe Monaco is the, they call it the ease of stitching on Ada, but the luxury of linen because okay. it's over two threads. Sure, sure. But you still get the even weave. Yeah, yeah it, it's e it's an even weave, mm -hmm. but I was just curious. It just because the 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 makeup of the actual even weave has I think has more cotton in it. Okay. So it is when you get it wet and you get it hot, like I do with tea coffee, it shrinks it. Right. I didn't actually count this like per inch, but I know it's more than twenty eight count. Well, yeah. yeah. And if you're doing it, cause so you did this one over one, right? Yeah. So I don't like Monaco and I have a lot of it and I'm planning to, um, I figured out a way to use it though. Yay. So, um, I don't like stitching with over two threads, mm -hmm. but I like stitching with one thread, one strand over one thread. And so one over one, one over one. So, um, this has been a whip. It's called old school by Lizzie Kate. It's so cute. Um, and I finished this before Christmas but it was after our last floss tube. So um, this is him. So he is stitched with um, stash threads. I don't even remember, and I've already put them back, so I can't even tell you what they are. Um, Turned out really good though. And I just basically took the picture and found colors that looked sort of close. Which you did. Yeah, That's and awesome. then um, it's funny because the X's of his eyes, I was supposed to like stitch that with a black strand, like in that space. Oh. But I didn't. I just <laughs> was not thinking and I just kept stitching. And so I just stitched it over the top of my, oh. <laughs> my X's. <laughs> but see, so, nobody would ever know. Yeah, so. Nobody ever know. He's cute. And so he stitched um, one strand of floss over one even weave thread. Mm -hmm. And then I finished this myself. It turned out really good. And I yeah. I had to teach myself how to do like the ruching thing. This. This mm -hmm. part with the ribbon. Yep. And I used all, I had just enough ribbon. It was like ribbon chicken. <laughs> I had just enough. Is it going to make it to yeah. the end? And then I added the little 2023 charm. Did so it. cute. So that's my finish. I had more finishes, but they're at the store. So right. I can't show them right now. I but have, I have one, but it goes with something else. So. Okay. Awesome. So. I guess we'll talk about whips and whip go. I guess maybe whip go first. Sure. Okay. So I'll show my book of days. Do you want to show your book of days? Yeah. Okay. So my book of days for January looks like these. <laughs> I go. have not written my daily 30 in here yet, but I have my whip go. And then I have what fabric lines are coming in for the store. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I check them off as we get them. Wow, that's awesome. I do that. I do that a lot. Mine is not nearly as full. It's actually kind of sad. Well, you were sick, and so I use this for work and pleasure. Yeah, so I'm adding more to it as I go. I mean, I've got birthdays and yeah, stuff like that in here, but that's not until later in the year. And then I've got trips and Fun. whatnot. But January is kind of boring. That's okay. So. But that's all right. Yeah, like I wrote down when we filmed our whip parade, you know. But I oh, also yeah. I have like what I worked on that like for work that day. Mm -hmm. So I know like, oh, I worked on this last time or I did this or I did that. So anyway, so that's my whip go or awesome. my, my book of days. I keep saying whip go. I apparently <laughs> want to talk about that. <laughs> apparently she really does. So for my, um, my whip go for January, the numbers that Jesse called was 22 and nine. Mm -hmm. So if you will recall in our last floss tube, and if not, then I'll talk about it again. Um, this is my Whipgo board and I decided to do themes instead of individual projects mm. because I don't want to have to work on a project because the board tells me to. I'd rather be able to choose from a list. Does that That's make sense? Yeah, so I have sure. my list of projects that fit within the theme for that 
that theme. I love it. And they are on there multiple times. So like some things fit in more than one category. So, um, and is, what is your goal for each? To touch them for on two different days. Okay. But what I'm using my whip go for is to, um, cause I do a daily 30 stitch. And while I do my daily 30, I listen to like a Bible podcast or something like that. Um, and so I do that in the morning before we start school and before we do all the things. That's and nice. it's a way for me to start the day off like right, mm -hmm. you know, and like get myself in that mode. And then I, it helps with, you know, well, it helps with everything. But yeah. anyways, so that's Gives you a few minutes for yourself. And yeah, I totally appreciate that. I think yeah, that's great. So um, <clears throat> my themes that were pulled for January was pop culture slash books and summer. So I'm going to show you what I did for those whips. What did you do? Mine was, um, ironically enough, mine was also summer and houses. So mm. she helped me because this is the first time I've ever done whip go. So yeah. I had no idea. And so she helped me put a board together and then I modified it slightly by adding in. So where she doesn't like specific projects, I actually... Specific projects force me to pull out a specific project. And so um, I have a couple on here um, that are specific, mm -hmm. like the name of a pattern, like Plum Street, Cinnamon Stars. Um, and then some of them are just themed. Those are ones that like are close enough to a finish that if she yes. actually sat there and stitched it. Which is why I added them specifically to the list. And mm -hmm. they can actually fit into other categories. So I have some that are on here that are summer and... All the, know, things. all the things. So like um, for this month, for or for the pull for February was, um, what's February? Oh, 24 and 3 are the numbers. Yeah. So mine is 12 days of Christmas and Mirabilia. <laughs> so guess what I'll be working on? Anyway, that oh, we'll talk about that one yeah. later. Okay. But anyway, so what are your, what did you pull so for? So for uh, number 22, um, I worked on each project for my daily 30 for a week. So I hit my goal after two days. Yeah, it's great. But I continued to work on it. But then if I wasn't feeling it, then I was like, okay, hey, I'm done with this project. And then I put it away and worked on something else, which is in my regular whips. That's awesome. So um, for the first thing that I worked on was Frogwarts 1. Mm -hmm. My Frogwarts bag. And so like, even though we just showed these, um, this one is... I don't think there's any because because we filmed when we fim, filmed our whip parade. I don't think there's any additional project progress on this one since you last saw it. But mm. um, so this is Frogworks Year One Band Sampler. Those are so cool. I have to go back and get those now. Yeah, um, this is on thirty six count linen in the color Olympia by Mystic, stitching one thread over two linen threads. Let me find it. It's in here. <laughs> Very. It is. There's a lot. Oh, apparently I have needle miters on this still. I apparently was not ready to put it away because it still has <laughs> needle miters. Um, so this is where I'm at on this one. That is so cool. I love that sorting hat. So during my, my daily 30, I finished Wingardium Leviosa, which I am stitching with a twall thread by DMC. So it's mm -hmm. a little sparkly. Um, I finished the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean. I finished the rest of Hagrid's umbrella. There was like a few stitches. I still have to put like the little thing on the end. And then I worked on the band on the bottom. That's awesome. So I got all of that stitching done within, for my daily 30, just working on it. And sometimes my daily 30 is not 30 minutes. Sometimes it's 20. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's Whatever 15. Whatever you have time for. Because sure. that's what I have time for. But I still work on it and I'm still making progress. Mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. And sometimes my daily 30, like if it's a Saturday and I don't have to go into the store... My daily 30 is an hour. I like it. I support it. Yeah. All right. So that's um, one. Of, oh, hold on. Oh, <laughs> there will be zippers in this video. Just so you know. That's all right. Just so you're aware. And then my other, um, my other pop culture slash books is called. Sorry, I have just like a plethora of pinatas over here. <laughs> if you know what that is. Mm -hmm. You know what that is. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Oh, crap. I have... So, 
She's usually haranguing me for not being prepared. You know what? So. I thought I was prepared. I even went through <laughs> all of this last night. You're always like, prepared. No, I'm not. That's hilarious. I just love it. I love it. Okay. So I'm not I, the only one. <laughs> it's a disorganized You're thing. not. Okay. As I'm dropping literally everything because it's all in the bag and just being fun right now. Okay. So um, I like Downton Abbey mm -hmm. a lot. Even my kids know what Downton Abbey is. <laughs> I'm okay with that. So um, I was able to get this kit um, for uh, from Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, she has a website, so check it out if you're interested. This is the pattern. It's called Modern Tidings. This was a uh, New Year's Eve 12 by 12 start. And then after New Year's Eve, I worked on it more. Oh, and wow. I got... Wow, that looks terrible. Here we go. I got oh, all of the good. border done. I got her arm... And except for the back stitch, which I haven't done. And I got all of this part and I was starting on her hair. That's great. Wow. And I did not want to put it away. Mm -hmm. This was so fun to stitch. Those are some of the best projects is ones that you just don't want to put down and just yeah. keep going. And um, the fabric color is called Countess. It's dyed by Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, 36 count. And this is stitched actually according to her instructions with two strands of thread oh over two linen threads okay that's why it's so like fluffy in that and i'm not having trouble with it being too cramped which is nice yeah because this is like solid stitching right there you know that looks great um looks and i'll show you what this is for later oh it's yeah. part of my haul oh cool i got my way you got your way <laughs> <laughs> love it. So those are my two whip go whips for January. So awesome. if you want to show yours. Yes, ma'am. So I had um summer, which um for my summer pull I'm working on in our home by Teresa Kogut. And I got a little bit, a little bit more done. And then I got sick, and so I Ew. it kind of slowed me down a little bit. Um, but this was one pull, so Anyway, um, I got the peacocks done on this side, and then I started, boy, I really didn't get that much done, did I? Yeah, you did. Um, and then I started working on the inner border in here to work my way around because I wanted to, there's this flower pot. So I was sitting there stitching with my kids, and I asked my oldest, and I said, so I want to work on either this or this, so which one do you pick? And she picked this one. But I had to work around this border so that I could count. Yeah. To get to that flower because pot. Because don't try and just count it. Oh, no. 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 I've already made a mistake that I had to tear out. But anyway, so I started working on the border. Um, I didn't get very far. What fabric is that? Um, this is, um, hold on. It's, it's right there. Right here. It's 32 Count Heartland by Picture This Plus. Yay. So it's one of my favorite colors. But it was a really good... Was a really good and that was a whip go pull this was a whip go cool. pull and then my other one actually ended up being two that i worked on for and that theme yeah no for so the second one was oh um, i have so yeah. that was for summer my other one was called um what was the other 22 oh my gosh i don't know because you have different ones i'm like you have different th ones than i do i did so i am working on the country cottage needleworks sampler of the month these little bands. And so I have probably four or five of them already done. And so mm. one of my goals this year is to finish the rest of them. Mm. And so I started to. And she has a really cute finish on that. If you go a few videos back, she shows like the whole. And I'll show them thing. again. Yeah. Once I get these ones. Like going. Going. Yeah, yeah, I will. So I actually have a complete, a finish, which is cool. So I started March um, just a couple of weeks ago. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get this one finished. And in hindsight, what I should have done is started February because then that would have been done in time for February. Yeah, but then it wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have FFO'd it, so. I probably not. But I if you have, do, did you work on this one? And then I worked on April. So oh, I, I started Feb, uh, March and April together because they're all the same flosses. Oh, that's nice. So all 12 of the charts are use the same color floss. And so I kind of bounced back and forth between oh, okay. the two like color no. complete yeah and so I was working on a color so I'm like oh I'll work on this part too and so but cool. I managed to get the whole March one done which is great so now this will be an FFO for for March so yeah I actually have a finish my first one for 2024, 2024. that's Score. awesome yay me yay you all right 
So that so was it for me. I still have more for January Whipco because I had I worked on two projects per theme. Oh, cool. Okay. So my other pull was for summer theme. And um I was sort of voluntold to do this one. <laughs> Yeah, I said voluntold, which means I didn't volunteer. I was basically told that that's what you're doing. Oh, okay. It's fine. All right, so oh, as... I know, <laughs> so the... I know why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as I said before with the whole Monaco situation. So I started this particular chart on Monaco. It is Queen Bee Flower Farm, Chalk on the Farm, um, by Hands on Design in collaboration with Priscilla Blaine of Sitchin with the Housewives. Mm-hmm. It is such a cute chart. Yeah. Actually, I, all of them are cute. I have all the things for it. I need to just finish it. Which is why she was voluntold. Because she's so close. No, I'm not. You're probably halfway. No. You don't no, think you're halfway? No, ma'am. Oh, no, no ma'am. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Um, it's adorable. It's really cute. So, you know, listening about Jesus, I was like, patience, patience, patience. <laughs> okay. You're funny. All right, so this is what I worked on for a daily 30. So I worked on this for a week. Oh, and so when I picked here. this up, I didn't tell you I didn't tell you guys this part. Oh. Okay, so when I picked this up, I had almost all of this done. I still have some random white stitches, but this was look at my margin. You'll see oh, it pretty you'll, close. You'll see a theme of this later <laughs> in, in another whip. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um so all I had re I had the silo done. So like I had all of this stuff was already stitched. I didn't work on any of this section. Mm -hmm. um, the silo was stitched. Um, part of the roof was stitched. The bottom yellow bit was stitched. Um, and this part was stitched on the door. Part of the chicken was done. I don't know. Is that a chicken or a rooster? I think it's a rooster because it's got the thing. <laughs> that thing, the comb. This. That. Yeah. So anyways, he's... Um, so all of this stuff wasn't stitched. All of this stuff wasn't stitched. Um, the garland of the flowers wasn't stitched. Um, and none of this was stitched. Are you liking it anymore? Or are you still just kind of a stitch at a time? It actually stitches up really fast if I just sit there and shut and up and just stitch on it. Because <laughs> I put it in a Q-snap this time. Oh, all right. I started it stitching in hand. Mm -hmm. And I think that's my issue is I don't like stitching on Monaco in hand. That could be. Which is how I was originally yeah, using that, that particular sense. fabric yeah, was stitching sure. in hand. And I just don't enjoy the process mm -hmm. of stitching in hand with that fabric. I like stitching in hand with other fabrics, but not this. So anyways, so I had, let's review. So I actually stitched quite a few of these uh fence post deals and then I found out I was off oh no! so I had to frog okay dang it guys so I already <laughs> am not enjoying and stitching then to have it to frog is mm -hmm. because of the fabric yes which we all know if fabric <clears throat> sucks you don't want to stitch on it right yeah for sure so I had to frog it out and then I was like okay you got this. I can do this. <laughs> and so I picked it back up and I, I was like, Cam mad at you today. So I put it away for the day. Mm -hmm. And then the next day I was like reaching for my basket of whips, you know, like to pull out my daily 30. And I, I was not going to grab this bag that had this <laughs> in it. And then I was like, perseverance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. So then I decided to go ahead and just, I stitched the first post to make sure it was accurate because that's where it was messed up. Oh, no. All right the way the from beginning. the freaking oh, beginning. Dang. And like with this particular part, I feel like it has to be somewhat accurate because of the way the flowers are. Sure. And you're counting off of that. So for sure. Yeah. I hear so you. I got this stitched up and that was the last day I worked on it for my daily 30. It was time to switch projects. Gotcha. So I would have had more, but I had a frog. It's all right. It still looks good. And you're still working on it. And, and I'm still working on it. Matters. And so. it's still, it's still there for me. So yep. this is the fabric. So I dyed this myself. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. So there's totally enough for the bottom part and for the sign. Oh, the little extra at the top. Because 
I committed to finish it. Mm -hmm. Finish it means this too. So I don't have that much left or, or to no, I don't have that much done. Is what I'm saying. Oh, I see. I that's comparatively you you speaking. I, I see what you're saying. I forgot that there was the top. Yeah. So, but there. like, so this is where my Q snaps was stopping me from stitching. So there's still like another like. I don't know, maybe 10 stitches this way. And then that's the end of the design. That's great. So it's not that big. It's not, it's really cute. And I love the colors. Yeah. There's something about the, the white on the dark fabric. Yeah. That just is so fun. It's just, I don't know. And, really, and I have a bunch of those charts. I need to just pull them out. and That Kathy Haberman. Mm-hmm. Genius with color. Yes. I mean, awesome. and then the art itself by Priscilla Wayne is also yeah, amazing. I just love them. So anyway, so that is uh, one of my whip goes for January for summer. Okay. <laughs> I had to be a realist. That's why I only picked one for so per category. I was, I was having moments earlier this week and I said, Jeanette, I'm wanting to start things. I need you to talk me out of it. She goes, how's your barn doing? I'm like, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Those are I, fighting words. I did. I totally she did. She totally did. And I was like, excuse me? Uh -huh. Baking powder? She totally wanted me to say, absolutely, start something new. I'm like, well, how's that barn coming? That's This is how oh, I could feel her seeding <laughs> through the text message. <laughs> You did that to me once, though. I know. You totally Because did. we like, have to be the voice of reason uh -huh. sometimes. You know what I mean? That's why you said, talk me, you literally said, I did. talk me out of it. I'm I like, did. I did. And she did. And I was like, challenge accepted. So I actually put like three stitches in this and then I put it away. <laughs> and then she pulled out something else. All right. So then the other one that I worked on is a long That's what standing. Are for. I think they are absolutely for that. Especially when I'm like, I need you to help, help me, help you. Mm -hmm. yes. Help me, help me, help me. You help me, help me. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is the other one I pulled for summer. Um, it's called Citrus. I love that one. Uh, it's a Mill Hill Buttons and Beads. It is still readily available. It came out in 2021. Yeah, a couple years ago. And where's the top? There's the top. So this is how far I've got to. I have worked on this quite extensively. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And... Yeah, I love it too. So like you can see all the beads on there. So I'm beading so as funny. I go. Mm -hmm. I'm beading as I go. So what I actually accomplished in my daily 30, because um, I think I also worked on this for my uh, New Year's Eve 12 by 12. So what I worked on it since then is I got um, this whole lemon beaded. I got the whole orange beaded. I got the beginning of this leaf. I think I finished stitching part of something else too. Yeah, it looks great. I don't know. Those colors are so But funny. anyway, so for February, this, what I have 24 and three are the numbers mm -hmm. and it pulled um, perforated paper. Oh. I only have one thing on perforated paper because my friend talked me out of starting something else because I was going to start a Satsuma street. Ah, so otherwise I wouldn't have worked on this. I would have worked on my new one. So go. this is helping me out. So for You're welcome. for February yeah. For February <laughs> for February's um perforated paper theme that was pulled for me for that number, mm -hmm. I'm working on this. Awesome. And do you did you bring your stuff for February? Or I no? did. Okay. I did bring my stuff. Okay. I haven't worked on anything, but I do have what will Well, it's not February yet. What will be for next month. So yeah. my pulls were um let's see, twelve days of Christmas, which I'm actually super excited about. Yay. And is that then, the, the, did you bring them? I did. I brought them. Okay. Well, but let's everybody's show. seen them a couple times. We Because we care. Uh, we want to see it again. <clears throat> so yeah. I we call. like seeing the things, people. So yeah. I'm actually motivated. And it's funny too, because I had started finishing several of these. Um, and then I kind of changed my mind. So I think I'm going to do something a little different. But anyway, these are from the wow. Cross Stitcher magazine from December, 2022. And it's these 12 days of Christmas. And by the way, if you like 12 Days of Christmas and you like Hallmark ornaments, mm -hmm. I sent her a sneaky peeky yeah. of something I saw. I told I, my husband and I, I'm like... I think they're going to start a new... Because they just... Fin was it this year they finished? Mm -hmm. Was this year they finished the 12th? Two years ago. Two years... Oh. 
two years ago they finished the, the last series of the 12 days of christmas so i think they're starting a new one that looks totally mm -hmm. different from the last but one. it's it looks really cool. So if you're interested in learning what that looks like, the sneak peek, mm -hmm. go to the Hallmark Ornaments or Hallmark whatever, Instagram. Hallmark.com. No, it's it's on the Instagram. The sneak peek is oh, on the Instagram. Oh, okay. I gotcha. And you can see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Anyway, tangent. That's all right. Tangent but still goes because I told John I wanted them. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I told my John too. Yeah. Yeah. Both our husbands are named John, which Spelled is really the same. funny. We're weird. It's really funny. So anyway, so I'm still working on um, French hen this uh calling bird poor calling birds that looks like french hen to me which one is this crap i think no it's this, this one. one it's four calling birds yeah because you be finished the, the first three i did i finished the first three and so this is <laughs> so this is <laughs> i tell to you to recap this is the one she's working on because right now it looks like blobs of nothing so and i'm actually stitching i don't typically stitch on eight o'clock but i wanted them to be sparkly and so this is 20 count um, white opalescent and Adorbs. so there's actually some sparkle in there and she has um, a floss conversion and I am doing a floss conversion I had to make a couple I've had a couple people ask and so I'm going to go back through and re um rewrite the modifications that I made because I made a couple of changes when you make floss changes sometimes once you stitch with the colors they you don't re really work yeah and so I made a couple of conversions of my conversion if that makes sense. Yeah. it does make sense um but it also goes along with part of my um part of my it's part of haul but it's also part of 12 days of christmas so i am going to start christmas club um one by shannon christine um i have the first sorry i bought them like last year <laughs> I bought them last year. Anyway. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Oh, they're little. Here, yeah, I'll let you show. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I've never seen these. So when I ordered them, um, and I've been looking at them for a long, for quite a while. So Shannon Christine puts out a Christmas club. So um, 2022 was the 12 days of Christmas, ironically enough. And so this is the first one. You get one and two in um, the, the pattern. You get two. And then... Uh, when I ordered them from one, two, three stitch, they only had one and four. The uh -huh. others were sold out. So that's why I only have one and four. Um, well, we can, fix, we right can now. fix that. Anyway, so yeah, Christmas Club. I can order them. Um, I think you should. I think they're awesome. And so I don't know what's, I don't know what 2023 was. I think they were mugs. Maybe a stitch along. I think they were mugs. I think a stitch along would be really fun. But if you're interested in a stitch along with a 12 days of Christmas stitch along, mm -hmm. it could be any 12 days of Christmas. Yes. Maybe starting in July or something. Yeah, we'll have to do something because there's a couple other ones that are really... Uh, Kathy Barrick, I think, had... No, it's... um Not Kathy Barrick. It's Hello from Liz Matthews. That's it. She which, has another really cool set. They're and, bigger. Yeah, and there's ones that you can stitch either like the sampler or you can stitch the trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're really cool. But which, these, you actually see those in these. person. Yes, and they're awesome. But this one was really fun. And so I thought since 12 Days of Christmas was on my, my Whipco board that I would maybe... But that's a new start, though. It would be a new start, which technically doesn't count whip, as a whip. Go. I know. I heard you. It doesn't I'm mean just I kidding. can't. Doesn't mean I can't make it a whip. I, yeah. I mean, if you start <laughs> it not in the month it's called, then it's considered a whip, and then you can add it to your exactly. whip go. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, you like how we justify the rules? Are there ain't no rules? <laughs> First, first uh, rule about Whipgo rules is there is no Whipgo rules. There are rules. no rules. Unless anyways, you make them yourself. Anyways, so yeah. So my other poll for February is number three. That was the number and it was, no, sorry, 24. And that is autumn is the theme for me. Oh, yay. So um, I looked at my list of autumn themed projects and the one that immediately caught my mind and was like, I had already been thinking I want to stitch on it is my best friend oh yay is geisha beauty mm -hmm. because it's time to turn and burn on this yeah you need to get that because done. i've had this kit since be like right after i got married really 2006 all right girl i wasn't married yet you weren't even married i yet? wasn't even i was engaged oh wow all right wow so okay been around a while. get it done i haven't i didn't start it but it was sitting, I had moved it from apartment to apartment to apartment mm -hmm. to apartment. You know, poor college student, poor college student, poor college student, <laughs> right? Anyway, 
So um, this is where I currently am. Um, I haven't, I worked on it for my New Year's Eve 12 by 12, but I want to finish her so bad. I love her. Yeah, she's so pretty. And I have a plan to, for my next, she needs a friend. Oh, oh, you said that you think that there's a companion one. It's not really a companion. I'm making it be a companion, but it's a samurai. Oh, I support it. Yep. I fully support it. So anyways, these, so right. that is my other poll. And I even asked my husband, I'm like, so the, this is my poll for Whipco for February. These are my options for that theme. What do you think I should stitch on? And he put, he picked this. Oh, he did too. Yeah. And I had already been thinking it. So I'm like, it's meant to I, be. I wonder if I was like boring into his eyes. Maybe. Like, you will pick this one. You know what I mean? <laughs> I am. I love it. I love it. Keisha. Mm -hmm. This is stitched on 18 count kit ivory. Ada, two over one. I love it. I'm trying to get better about saying the stuff. I know. Me too. Because, you know, we're, we've been doing this almost a year. We're not new anymore. Yeah, I don't think we have any excuses for that anymore. So there's anyway. that. Okay, so those are all the, the whip go whips. Okay. 37 minutes in, friends. We have more whips. I only have... I have plenty. Do you want me to go next? Yeah, you go because... I, I've been trying really hard to just stick with my, so my goals for my whip go is, um, once a week. So two and a half hours, mm -hmm. once a week. which is kind of an evening mm -hmm. to me. Um, and so I do whip go Wednesday. That's my cute. That's my whip go day anyway. Um, but then when I started to cut one of the other ones, I, I just, I wanted to get it finished. So that's like sure. why March is done. Yeah. So I've been kind of trying to focus and then I've got a couple other ones that I'm working on, but. Like long-term, like mm -hmm. focus pieces. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so. I don't do that. I squirrel. <laughs> so I have my daily 30. That's in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. If for some reason, the one thing I'm not showing in this is um, my progress on a piece for, that's a model stitch for Dirty Annie's. Oh, uh-huh. I'll show it. I'll show it to you later. But yeah. I'm going to show it to her at market and see like, hopefully I can finish it by then. It's possible. You'll get it. If I turn and burn. Can you I turn number? Can I do it? Yes, you can. Because I have a month. You can do this. I support it. If I work on nothing else in the evening, mm -hmm. and that's what I work on, then I can finish it. I got you. It's really fun to stitch. I hope she releases it, like, in the summer or something like that. Maybe she'll release it for the retreat for us. I don't know. Ooh. I'll talk cool. to her about it. All right. She's cool like that, so. Okay, so quilt whips. So if you don't like quilting, I'm sorry, but... I quilt, and so you're gonna see that on this channel. I quilt too. I just not right. She's now. a cross stitcher that quilts, and I'm a quilter that cross stitches. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And my main job at Maggie's on Main is to make samples, and then my other main job is to buy things. So anyway, um, for 2024, Riley Blake Designs, which is a manufacturer of fabric quilt fabrics, they are having a uh oh. Continue. So Riley Blake Designs is having a 2024 uh, block challenge and it is going to be 16 new and exciting 10 inch blocks and it started on January 9th technically but you can still do it now. We have kits if you like the fabrics I have. We have kits available. Um, I did not bring my kit over here. It's fine. Um, I can actually I'll insert a picture of the fabrics that are in our kits at the shop. So if you like these blocks, then mm -hmm. you can pick one up. Um, so how it works is they have, it's kind of like blockheads, like which I've showed that quilt before, mm -hmm. um, which that was also a finish. I finished that anyway. So th this is the schedule. You can go to the Riley Blake website, click on sew alongs and they have a whole thing for the, um, the block challenge. So um, we are on, Technically, block three is where we're at. Mm -hmm. So block one is at the shop. I'll insert a picture. That one was designed by Lori Holt, which is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then block two. I've been so tempted. I don't have time, which is why I haven't started. But um, And this is free. These are free patterns that you can download. Mm -hmm. You so just this, have to buy your fabric. You just have to buy a fabric. And then this is my color palette. So this is the color palette that they say you can use if you don't want to just choose your own fabrics mm -hmm. and just make a go of it. 
and just make the blocks however you want, which some people are doing that, which is totally cool. But like um, I, to sell the kits through the store, I thought if I took this color palette and then turned them into Lori Holt fabrics, because mm -hmm. Lori Holt. Yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah. So this is block two. It is by Beverly McAuliffe, which is Flamingo Toes. And it's called Sparkle and Shine. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. The picture on our, on our Instagram, like got weird because it was taken in the snow. So it got like oh it kind of blues it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it, it got weird. So but and then it's still really cute. The one that was just released this last Tuesday is called Dalesford by Amy Smart, which is Diary of a Quilter. And it got smashed while I was in my bucket, but that's okay. Oh man, that's really pretty. Good Can you one. imagine a whole quilt of these? Oh, it would be so it'd fun. be so fun. Mm -hmm. it'd be, this could even turn into like this colorway with these colors could turn into even like a like a let me try and say like an autumn or Halloween. Mm -hmm. I love that it's so manageable to do one block a week. Yeah. You do one block a week. Yeah. So that was one of my whips that I'm doing for work technically, but I'm really enjoying. Yeah. That's a great one. The process of doing that. Yes, ma'am. Um, and um, Santa's house. Oh, yeah. I brought mine too. Yeah. So we can talk about our progresses on mm -hmm. that, which... Again, I have freaking okay. So, um, my fr our friend Sherry, she gifted me this. This is par part of my Christmas gifts that I got this year. Um, she made this bag. I love it. She I stitch one. she stitched that for me, and I am putting all of my fabulous houses, even if they're not Christmas. Don't care. They are all going in this bag. I love and it. I will use this bag as my whip bag for that until I complete all of them because I will. Because I love all of the ideas and mm -hmm. so far all of... The, okay, so the greenhouse? <laughs> yeah, that's happening. Yep. As fast as possible. Uh, okay, so do you want to show yours since I have, I failed to take all my stuff oh, off yeah, again? Fine. Yep. So I am... Um, oh, here. Well, let's show the chart. I have it right here. I do? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is um, the new series by um, Carrot. No, I always want to say Carrot House Sampling, but that, that's Cottage not correct. Garden. Cottage Garden Samplers, and it's the Fabulous House series. This is the first in the chart that was released in December. Mm -hmm. It goes from December to November. So this was released in December, mm -hmm. and all of the um, all of the models, according to her her website, is stitched on forty count prehistoric by uh, Fox and Rabbit. I I personally am not using that count. I am using the right that color for this for my whip of this though. I'm looking for my apparently your, I was your your stitch. I'm looking for my brain. Why? Oh, here it is. Okay, because I couldn't remember what fabric I picked. Oh, okay. Because I didn't I didn't use prehistoric. I no, used you didn't. Different. You did so. not. Okay, go ahead. Okay, yeah. So I'm doing 36 count platinum. Holy crap! You're almost done. <laughs> 36 count platinum by Weeks Dye Works. So you must have worked on this. You know what? I did. I worked on it a little bit at the beginning of the month. So there and is. And then I kind of, I had to put it away. She has flame fingers. I don't. I don't. She's like a lightning needle lady no. over here. She just goes so fast. No, you do. I don't know how you do it because she's a poke and stab. I am a poke and stab. She is fast. But um, when I get really going, I can, I go pretty quick. But I don't do the sewing method, which apparently is faster. I suck at that. Well, you it's only faster if you're comfortable doing That's it that true. way. Yeah, so I've tried. Okay, but, so let's um, see yours. Yeah, so I've got this. Um, I started in the house. I wanted to... Oh, that was the other thing. I started on the roof, which is a gray. And I think it calls for Plymouth Rock. Yeah. Um, by Classic Color Works. And mm -hmm. so I actually started stitching the roof. And it was so close to the color of the fabric that it wasn't enough of a contrast to look like a roof. And so I actually tore it all out and um, had to find a different color for the roof. Yeah, I, because so, um, um, we had ran out of all the colors because everyone else bought them before I could yeah. buy my thread, <laughs> which is fine. So I decided to just oh. convert things. That's, oh, oh, that's right. And I love your conversion. Oh, so, River Rocks. That's what I picked instead. I made my, my so palette my for the house darker. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I haven't anyway. started on the house yet. So the only other thing I changed um, is the trees. 
So in the chart, there's it actually, trees on this. Yes, there's two little white trees oh. in the chart. <laughs> They're right there, and I really wanted them to be green. And the oh, this is going to sound really silly. So the only other bit of green that's in this entire chart is, is the, wreath. the wreath on the front door of the house. And I'm like, but I really like the greening. I'm stealing your idea. And so I'm like, I'm going to make them green. Good idea. And so I made the trees green and I actually outlined the tops of the trees with a little bit of white. Can so, I see? Yes, of course. Oh, cute. So and did so, you add those, the white stitches? I did. They're not I added the, the white stitches. They're not actually in the pattern. So I just kind of took what was called for in the chart and then I went around the outside of it with white. So I oh, also, I, I overdo it. No, you okay. don't. <laughs> so I also am working on this as well. And I'm using the color prehistoric. Um, oh, the call for This is yes. as far as I got. Hey, that's good though. No. I you mean, got your reindeer I, I, and... I, I squirrel a lot. So that's my problem. No. But I got, I have the reindeers done, but I made him rude. No. I made him Rudolph. Oh, you actually made a red nose? Yes. Oh, you did. I it's love a it. missed opportunity. It totally is. I love it. So I made sure he was Rudolph. The one thing I am realizing, because I am also converting. So this is my conversion. Woo. So You're using silks. I'm using silks on my fabric. Mm -hmm. And then that's the roof color. I love it. That'll so, look so good. But because I'm converting and it's all from stash, except for these threads here. Mm -hmm. Um. I was just pulling colors, but I'm finding that the color for the belly and like the front, the chest of the deers would be a color that would look really weird. So I'm oh. probably going to have to just find a color that Something will else. make more sense to be on a, a reindeer. <laughs> Maybe. So anyway, so that's how far I got. And then I also started working over here. So that's awesome. You know, and then, you know, details, right? Yeah, of course. That's what I worked on. Because, again, squirreling. Because I was I would work on this, like, in the evening if I wasn't tired kind of thing. But this is, like, on 36 count, which it's winter, so it's dark by 3 o'clock. Yeah. So, you know. Anyway, so that's what I have right. for that one. Are yep. you working on um, Hawkrun Hollow? Yes. Cool. Do we want to talk about that? Sure. Next? Okay. Because I did bring my – I didn't do a lot. But um, I did bring. So we're doing a stitch along with um, Hawk Run Hollow, mm -hmm. and I think there's eight. I think there's eight different Hawk Runs. Eight or nine. Um, I, I lost count. Anyway, so um, the group of us. Um, there's like six of us that are doing. Hawk and Run other Hollow. people. And a bunch of people. And have you can join in. us. Mm -hmm. So like our our hashtags. Oh, time out. If you hear screaming, my kids live here and they're in the room. So they're okay. They're fine. They're Everything's so fine. Good. Um, but if you want to join in the stitch along, we have a stitch along hashtag to use on Instagram. Um, we have Sundays at Hawk Run Hollow and Hawk Run Hollow 2024 mm -hmm. are the two hashtags. But the best way for us to see your progress is for you to tag us. Yes, because we want to see. So I am doing the farms of Hawk Run Hollow. And I made some changes because um I d couldn't get the silks um and so I decided not to do the NPS silks and do over dyed um and so she's converting everything again when you do conversions sometimes when you start stitching and they look good like on the skein but then when you start stitching with them they don't quite they work. look weird I've done a little bit of um frogging but I did get the the title done so and what are you stitching that on Hawk Run Farm. This is um, vintage, com vintage country. country mocha, 36 count vintage country mocha. I just wanted a kind of a generic because it's so, it's humongous. Yes. It's humongous. So save a little bit of money there. I did a couple of the, um, there's these um, cows that are up here on this hill. So I did that and I did Hawk Run Farm. So this is Hawk Run Farm. And then um, you got the whole border done. And then I got the whole border done and I started the next one over um, before I ran out That's of floss. That's a lot of stitching. So, yeah. So, I didn't, and, and I frogged some, which is kind of a bummer. No, I mean, like, this is going to be huge. It's a giant project. Okay, so the one thing that we need to talk about. So, on the picture, it looks like this. It's long and skinny. Mm -hmm. She is not stitching it like that. She is stitching it like this. Yes. So, on the back of the pattern. Sometimes. Um, she gave an, which was kind of funny because when I was looking at it initially, mm -hmm. I was going to do something similar to mm -hmm. that anyway because then it's similar in shape to the others. And I flipped over the back of the thing and it's got this great picture. Yeah, see, mine just has the picture layout. of all the different ones. Oh. Because there's nothing to 
change. There's nothing to change. <laughs> so anyway, but I liked this better. It was a better use of the fabric too. Instead of it being long and skinny, it's now more rectangle. So, I like it. Yep. Okay. How about you? So I am. You're you you're done talking. I'm about done. It? Yes. Okay. So I am doing Map of Hawker and Hollow. You guys, I I love this. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. So this is the stitch. Um, I've always kind of been interested in the Hawk Run series, but I was like, I don't know which one I'd want to do. They're so ginormous. I have to be like <laughs> in love with it, right? Sure. But the pictures are great. I think they're pretty good pictures for, for in cross-stitch standards, right? Yeah. They're pretty good photos. But like, it's seeing them stitched up will make a huge difference. Oh, for sure. And Samantha Hugo Stitcher, she stitched this. And she stitched it on the called for fabric using called for threads, DMC, I think. And um, like the DMC conversion that's in the chart. And her finish was so amazing. I was like, sold. Uh -huh. That's the one I have to do. <laughs> so thanks, Samantha. This is your fault. That's okay. She knows I love her. <laughs> so anyway, so this is the one I'm doing is Map of Hawker and Hollow. I am... The reason why I didn't start on our official date is because I was waiting for my Vicki Clayton silk pack that mm -hmm. I was gifted for Christmas. So, um, Vicki Clayton silks comes on little bobbins, like little baby bobbins. They're so cute. But I am keeping them in floss away bags. So, it's not pretty, right? You know, pretty, oh, you know? Like, you don't see them, like, all displayed in a pretty box or anything. Because I need to keep the threads together. Yeah. Um, and I never use floss away bags ever. So, this is the first time that I have ever used floss away bags. Those are great. Um, because I was always like, oh, I don't need to do that. I'll just get, like, snack size bags from the store or whatever. But then you have to punch the hole and all the things. Yeah. And this was, this was a way faster um, to do. So... Well, now on to the actual stitching. So I have this on my scroll rod. So remember about the um, small amount of margin? Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, you didn't give yourself much room there, did you? No. And okay. I, ga I gave our friend Sherry heart palpitations when she's, she's like, that gives me anxiety. I can't look at it. Because <laughs> I, I showed it at open so And she's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, this is how far I got to, um, I ha this is all the way across the whole edge of the piece and nice. I started going down mm -hmm. and then there's one, they're red tail hawks guys. Yeah. Yay. I mean, cause there's so many different kinds of hawks. Like what kind of hawk is it? Is it? We don't know, but apparently they're red tail. Yep. I so that. I had to stitch at least one hawk in there. Mm-hmm. Cause he's so good. He's in the border. So I was like, okay, so that's how far I've gotten in two Sundays. Which is a lot. That's pretty good. Because I last Sunday, that's all I did. Mm -hmm. I like for my daily thirty for everything. That's all I worked on was this, because I just loved it. And then um, this was from our friend Barb. Oh. And then Grogu, and my fabric is thirty six count Bradley by Grace Notes Fabrics. So it's kind of blown out because of our my lighting. Because my lighting yeah, it's, is terrible in this house. It looks really. I'm trying um, to find it. It looks very mappy. <laughs> It's got yeah, that it, kind of because the call aged for fabric, color. the call for fabric is by Lakeside Linens, which is like a unicorn, Ugh. and there's only certain stores that carry it. And um, it was vintage autumn gold. Is wow. it's not just the autumn gold; it has to be the vintage, vintage. one for it to have that gold color. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know what? Mm -hmm. This is good enough for me. I I really like it. And then once I got the silk pack, and I by the way, if you guys are at all thinking about whether or not, oh, is it worth it? The Vicky Clayton silks, I keep hearing about them, buzz, 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 right? They're so worth it. Are they nice to It's stitch like with? butter. It's uh, like butter it. and it's a pleasure. Like it feels nice on your hands. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you don't have crusty hands like I do sometimes with all the calluses, you know, from doing work. Oh, from so, life. From doing work. Yeah. Because I'm not one of those people that wears dish gloves. <laughs> so. I don't have time for that. <laughs> so anyway, so this is um, my progress on Map of Hawker and Hollow. It looks great. And I love this stitch. It's so fun. Mm -hmm. It looks fantastic. Yeah, love it. I love it. I don't know if I'm going to, I might work on it later this evening, but I'm supposed to be working on a quilt ah. later. Okay. Yeah. Let me, I don't know. We'll see. So many, so many, so many things. 
That's all I think. All right. How many more whips do you have? Two. Okay. I think I have one. One? Okay. And then, how about, and then just... No, oh, I have three. I have three. Oh, you have three. Okay. So I'll show... This is also a new start. Can you help me? Yes, of course. So it, we're not taking the people's time. Yep. Nope. You got it. Okay. So, um... I love my husband. And He's a keeper. He is a keeper. And... I am blessed to have found my soulmate. Mm. And um, so I try and do things for him that he wouldn't expect. And I like making cross stitch for him. And if you've seen some of our older videos, you will know that I have made cross stitch for him in the past. So I have, I bought this pattern eons ago. It is um, called Primitive. I give my heart to the Valentine Pillow Tuck by Country Rustic Primitives. Wow. She is on Etsy. I bought this pattern a long time ago. This is because um, Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts shared some of her stuff. I went, I bought all the things. <laughs> and I've just been, it's just been sitting there. Look at how like minimal stitching that is, guys. It's like, okay, so let's just get with the program. So I decided to just stitch it. And I was like, hey, I'm pulling from stash threads, you know, and mm -hmm. I had these, these were the new Belle Swa colors. No, I lied. This is a, bell new, a new Belle Swa color that happened in 2023. It's called Sonoran Sunset. I think it was designed by Scarlet House. Oh, I didn't who, know that was a new color. Yeah, it's oh, new. Cool. And then this is the one that I was going to use for Castle. Oh, okay. But I changed my mind. All right. Or something. something. I don't know. <laughs> it was in my stash sitting there, so I was like, I'm going to use this. Use that. And then this came in a box. It doesn't, it's a Forbidden Fiber Co. Not a box, like in a kit that I got. Um, I don't, it doesn't have a color, but it's like a gold. Oh, it's pretty. And I think this is up in the attic. I don't know. I will not be using that much fabric, so I didn't cut it off. I just, but anyway, this is how far I've got oh, to. Oh, look at that. And I worked on this yesterday for my daily 30, and then I worked on it last night. Looks really good. And I'm going to change the pattern a little bit and have like our initials somewhere. Oh, I think you should. And maybe our marriage year or maybe this year. Can you put them in the hearts? I was thinking about doing that, but I don't know if I want to have them be cross stitches. I might do them like where they're backstitched. Yeah. Yeah. Like backstitched like cursives like mm -hmm. you do with your name. Yeah. I was thinking that like this doesn't even have a bag because I'm like, no, I don't have time for that <laughs> because this is going to be done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm thinking about giving it to him for Valentine's Day. I love it. And it'll go like on his wall. He has a wall in our bedroom that is stuff that I have stitched for him and things that our kids have made. I love that. That he has like right where he wakes up and he sees it. So that is so that's cool. where he wants it. Mm -hmm. So That's really cool. Yeah. So it's good to know that, you know, he appreciates Absolutely. the things, right? Absolutely. Okay. So that is that whip. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So now I have two more quilt whips. Cool. Um, so I have been working on Calico Garden by Lori Holt, which is a sew along, like probably two sew alongs now. <laughs> well, it's a huge quilt. It's humongous, quilt but like huge. I haven't been able to work on it because I've had to do other things for work that took my time. Um, so I haven't had the opportunity to actually, I lied, I have three quilt, quilt whips. Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, I actually did these last night. Oh, awesome. Here so I, yeah, sure. I still have to sew down the applique circle. Do you do it by hand? I do it by hand. On this quilt, I am doing it by hand, but you can, if you don't like doing hand work, you can do these app, this applique method, but you can stitch it down with your machine if you want to. Cute. So this is what, and these go around the border of the quilt, mm -hmm. like the outer border. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like so you can see where these flowers go. so cute. Yeah. And this quilt is humongous. It's like 90 something by 90 something. It helps if I have them both in there together, huh? Yeah, cute. Yeah. I love it. Those are really cute. Too. And I love the colors. So this is done by the Calico, with the Calico fabric line by Lori Holt. We have that at the store. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're interested in that kit, you can always call us. Yeah, I don't think we have any like kits, kits, but no, we can, but kit, we can it kit it for you. for you. Yeah, so if you're interested, I think That's we still, I think we even have the shape still. Mm -hmm. Anyway. We do. That one's really yes. cute. Um, but if you like Lori Holt, um, we are getting the autumn line that's coming out in April and we're getting the hometown holiday 
that's coming out in July. I cannot wait. And I'm so excited. I was, I had a conversation with Maggie yesterday about what quilt I'm making for autumn. Mm -hmm. I'm making the crow one. Are you really? I'm so excited. Turkey. I can't wait. Yep. She was like, oh, maybe we can have someone sew that for us. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> sure. I was like, I'm going to do it. That's mine. That's good. Okay. So um, the next one I am going to show is also a work kit. Here, let me help. Ooh, can it, I? It got stuck. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm right, trying we're fine. To, we're professionals. I want to show like the fabric. We are That's why I'm professionals. Okay. okay. So I'm making this quilt called Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy using the Pride and Prejudice line by Riley Blake. We have this also at the stop at the shop. So if you're interested. That's the one of the free. Is that one of the free patterns? It's a free pattern one, okay. but it doesn't matter because that's what it looks like. The The rendering is pretty good, but like making it in person. You should see. It's really, it's fabulous. It's awesome. So I am made, I have made all of the blocks and I am putting them in rows currently. So this is one of the rows. <gasps> Look at that. So, um, yeah, it's so pretty. And I'll show the whole palette. These are eensy squares. Yeah, they're, I think, four and a half done. Oh, boy. Um, four That's and a half lot finished. of sewing. Okay, so this, there are pins in this, so I'm going to hold it and not have you hold it, because I don't want you to stick yourself. Oh, sorry. Because I know where the pins are. Okay, so the way that, this is a quilt that is done on point. So basically how it works is, is you have to, instead of doing rows like this. Oh, you're going diagonal. You're going diagonal. Mm -hmm. And I am, because this is very specific about your placement for the, where the, each fabric goes, mm -hmm. I am stitching each row and then putting it on the quilt. Oh, smart. So right now I have pins in it, holding mm -hmm. on a quilt, a, a, a row of it, but this is what I have so far. That is fantastic. Yeah. And then I'll show you the quilt palette here. I'm going to, I don't want you to stick yourself because oh. these are really sharp. I don't mess around. Pins with my, are mean. I don't mess around with my pins. Pins are mean. Look, you got everything all labeled. Look at this. I have it labeled by, because each fabric is with a, with a letter. Mm -hmm. So that's how I have that going. And it's coming together pretty quick. So I'm hoping to finish a quilt top this week, like coming up, so I can get on the quilt machine and quilt it. It'll take me less time to quilt it than it will take me to probably load it. <laughs> probably. Because <laughs> it's not that huge of quilt. Um... And also people who say like, oh, doing things on point is hard. It's not. It's really easy. You just have to know how to start it yeah. and how to do it. Um, so this is 66 by 80 and three quarters finished. It's a good size quote. It's not as big as the Lori Holt one, but it's still Oh, no. Size. But this is something I was talking to my husband about this morning. I'm like, so apparently I like BAPs like in general because I like big cross stitch mm -hmm. and I like big giant quilts. Yep. I don't like baby quilts. I do baby quilts. I can make them and I <laughs> have enjoyed making them. And sometimes it's nice to have a little finish, you know, mm -hmm. but like when I I'm drawn to the giant huge quilts. That's all right. Giant. That's all right. Giant. Okay. So now the other whip that I'm doing is a customer quilt, but I know they won't care if I show you. Um I left the pattern over there because there isn't really a pattern. Um, basically what it is, um, the person asked me to make a quilt for basically to put on the back of their couch because they have a white couch. They live in Mexico <laughs> in like a resort town. Anyways, um, they asked me to make a quilt to go on the back of their white couch with two 20 inch pillows that oh. match. Okay. That's what they want. So this is a block that goes in the quilt. Mm, I love it. So this fabric here is not black. It is a very, very dark brown. And it actually is the same shade as their hair. That's perfect. So did you fussy cut I the did. senoritas out? Yes. Yeah. So this, this quilt is called, I'm calling it Lost Senoritas. This is a fabric line by, I can't remember the name right now. It's an out of print fabric like from 2005. Wow, it's old. And I found enough to do this quilt. That's I was like amazed that I found enough. Fantastic. So this so this is going to be repeated throughout the quilt. Just the difference is going to be what part is fussy cut for each um, senorita mm -hmm. will be different. And then also the serape fabric will be 
wherever it happened to be cut up. Sure. So it'll be a variation. These actually look like they're the same cut and it's probably because of the way that they were stacked. But um, anyway, so that's, that's really good. So that is one block of the quilt. And then I already have the pillow, the pillow tops done. So the, the, everything's going to be quilted at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I did them opposite. Oh, look at how clever. So you put the senoritas in so I, yeah, a small so I, square. I framed them. Yeah. Like that, because that's what the people are going to see initially. Mm -hmm. And um, I showed it, I showed progress photos and I'm going to love that quilt. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. It's going to be hard for me to get rid of it because I am of Mexican heritage and I'm like, what if I can find more of this fabric? I bet you could. Because I freaking love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And I, I don't really have any more left. It's like, this is all it's I got. It's really good. I so these it. are going to be the pillows sitting on the couch mm -hmm. and they're going to be like an envelope back, but the, the top will be quilted. And then the backing is going to be red. And then there's going to be like a binding around the outside, which is going to be red as well. Love it. That looks great, Cheryl. So this That's is great. the, the, the blocks for the, the pillows. And then, so see how they're opposite. Yep. That looks really good. So that is that one. And I have all of the blocks technically pieced now. Like in terms of like, these are all pieced. Uh -huh. And so now I'm in the process of making them into four patches because that'll make the whole quilt top go together a lot faster, faster. and more organized so that I can make sure that I don't have two senoritas that are the same oh. in the same that right next sense. to each other. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? So trying to have some organization a little bit with that. see what you're doing there. You picking up what I'm throwing I am. Out? Absolutely. Okay, so um, I have one more whip. Okay, you show your whip. I've got one. This is my last one. Okay. So this should have been in our whip parade, and somehow it got lost in the shuffle, and it never got shown. Oh, and is this the one I was like, I found this on your Instagram, yeah, and, and you were like, like, what? And so, yeah, she she found an Instagram post That's that funny. I had made. She was looking for photos, and so just, you know, scroll through my Instagram and see what's on there, and she goes, what happened to this project? And I'm like... Oh. Huh. And so I dug through, it got buried in with something else. I don't know how that happened. Anyway. It's so, okay. We still love you. So thanks. Um, I am part of Teresa Kogut's Patreon. Um, and I absolutely love it. I actually just signed up again. I had to renew my subscription. Oh, they do that like yearly? Yeah. It's oh, that's an nice. Here, I can hold things. And so anyway, this is a, um, from April of last year, this was a tier four and it's called Cottage Garden. Um, it's really cute. I started it almost immediately. As soon as it came out, I started it. She keeps doing sneaky peekies. And I, well, it wasn't intentional. Like I said, it got kind of buried in with something else. And so I have quite a bit of it done. What fabric is that? This Heritage? is Regency. 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 It might be here. Well, maybe it is. It says right look. here. Anyway. It is Regency. 36 count. So 36 count Regency. <coughs> um, and so I have the house. Oh, that's so cute. And the border. And I started this bird. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There was a pen that Apparently just there was attacked a pen and me. It really scared her. Anyway, so this has been a really, really fun stitch. I'm eager to get this one done. Um, and it's not very big. No. So I have. I mean, because what do you have there? I don't know. A couple of flowers. You have a bird. There's another bird. You have a bird and a flower and mm -hmm. then peace and then the willow tree. And then the willow tree, which wouldn't take very long. So. Oh, you're almost done. Yeah, so we're good. Oh, well, you have the whole border to do still. So. You have to do like the flowers on the border. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Sorry. So yeah, the, that's think, not too bad. The only thing that I changed, I changed one of the colors. I think it was the blue. Um, sometimes I have to change a color because the dye lot is bad. So oh, like, if yeah. you ever had a a floss that it just, it's supposed to be blue, but it comes out gray or something. Or something. So I started yeah. stitching with it. I had these giant blocks of gray, and so it really made the birds not blue. And um, the rendering, it's straight blue. And the rendering, they're very blue. And I wanted them to be bluebirds. So anyway, I think that was the only color I changed um, because the the dye lot of the color she called for was wrong. So I'm using Milady's Teal by Classic Color Works is the blue. Yeah, but this is a, a Patreon, so it's not a regular release. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if you're a Patreon patron, if you're able to get that now. Like if you're a tier four, I don't know if she allows you to get past... Ones. She so she has her secret shop. So if you're a if you're a Patreon member that you just signed up, you have to still be the tier that it says that it says. And so you can only have access to the tier four if you're a tier four 
Okay. Um, so she doesn't make things go away then. I don't know. I don't, I haven't seen her take anything. Oh no. She, I'm, I take it back. She does because she'll tell you because you get a month to download oh, okay. the PDFs. And then she said, make sure you download before such and such a day. Otherwise they go away. Okay. So, so that's not disappear. available right so now. So you can't get this one now. So I'm the, sure the, I guarantee you she's going to release it at some point. Well, you can't guarantee that because it is. I said at some point. Yeah. But Sometimes I did watch a floss tape of hers where she talked about this. No, oh. and she said she did say that there are some designs that she has in that she's released through Patreon that eventually are released to the general public, mm -hmm. and she does that because she has the right to do that because she's it's her chart, right? right? She can do that. You're paying as a Patreon patron to have early access to that. And there are going to be some designs that she never releases to the public because it's not in benefit to do so. Mm. But there's going to be some that people really like and people keep asking about. Oh, I saw this on a floss tube. Are true, you going to true. release this? And so usually that's when she puts things into books. Yeah. And so. she has um, for market, I think. There's, she has there's her gonna, spring There's going to be one called Hello Spring. And mm -hmm. So maybe it'll be in that one. I don't know. She's a goner. I mean, in big trouble. I know. <laughs> I already know. Yeah. So new. But that's it for me for whips. Okay. I have, um, I think, oh, the one thing that I wanted to talk about really quick that I forgot to talk about my finishes. Um, I mentioned in a previous video, a, pr a previous floss tube about um, a quilt that I was making for a customer. And um, I didn't want to give all the information away because I didn't know if I was supposed to because it, like, it's for her upcoming grandchild and I didn't want to spo make spoilers mm, but okay I who you. I'm talking about is Jody from um G Jody's creative studio or if I if I'm saying it wrong I'll put it on the bottom anyways um she's also on Instagram I met her at, at Stitch West she hired me to make a quilt for her for her upcoming grandchild at the time didn't know she was having a grandchild she just bought it because she was trying to put it out in the universe that she really wanted a, a <laughs> grandbaby, I guess. But I guess, anyways, long story short, there is now a grandbaby and I finished it for her um, and mailed it off. And she's already talked about it on Instagram oh, very and cool. on Floss Tube. Very cool. But she didn't say who made the quilt. It was me. Oh. Um, this is my, my business card. Mm -hmm. um, my business name is Star Garnet Stitchery. And so I make quilts for hire for people. So if you're, in, which is what the Lost Senoritas one was. So if you're interested in having a quilt done, I'm I'm a person that does that. I, I kind of do things like a la carte. So if you're interested in me doing the quilt top and quilting it and binding it, I can do it from start to finish. If you need she me does to- beautiful work too. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Um, if you need me to, um, to just do like the quilting part and then bind it for you, I can do that. Or if you want me to just quilt it for you, I can do that. So I have like a different set of pricing based off of what it is. I can't give you like an actual price of, well, how much would it be to make a quilt? It's all subjective because it depends on the quilt. Sure. Um, different quilts cost different amounts based off how much piecing there is and all of those things. Um, also how big it is. Yeah, right? for sure. So anyway, so if you're interested in having a quilt done, I can do mm -hmm. it for you. Um, this is the picture, uh, the pictures of the quilt I made for Jody, for her grandbaby that's coming up soon. I think it's due in July. I think it's a girl. Um, it's called Forest Friends Quilt. Um, and she bought it at Pine Needles in Utah. So I don't know if they still have this kit, but the fabric line is called Forest Friends by Riley Blake. Oh. So if you're interested in that, um, I have more, I have some details on my, uh, my business Instagram, Star Garnet Stitchery. So give that a follow for updates too. So awesome. anyway, little info about that. Cause I forgot to tell you about that in a finish. Cause that was a finish. That's cool. Awesome. Okay. So haul. Mm -hmm. I think, right? I think yeah. that's where we are. Yeah, and then before, um, I have a story at the end. So, it's a fun story. I have a fun story to share at the end. Okay. So, don't let me forget. We'll talk. It, it doesn't have any, well, we could talk about it here in the plans and life updates. Sure, why not? Okay, it's cool. Haul and Christmas gifts. Because that's what a lot of my haul is, is Christmas she, gifts. She got a ton. I did. I got a little bit. But. And I'm not showing all of it because that's excessive and ridiculous. <laughs> but what, like I, I showed you this bag. So I got I this from a friend. I so bad that I didn't. It's okay. You have it. We love you, Sherry. I know. She's amazing. So, okay. 
so in my haul, because again, um, I am doing the Fabulous House series. So this is the second one called Castle. And I decided to um, do conversion. So I decided to do this is a call this is a called for I think flatfish mm -hmm. yeah flatfish by weeks because you need this color for it to make sense with the rest of the colors because mm -hmm. I did a floss toss at the shop and I realized that I based off of the when you see the um the picture and then but you don't know where each color actually right, goes right. once you get the pattern then you can say okay this is where this color goes it so makes more can, sense you can make yeah. a better conversion mm -hmm. and I realized that the silk that I had pulled which is I was correct that one that I'm that was originally pulled for this mm. but I just oh yes I did color yeah I decided I'm not doing that and I'm just going to use the called for flatfish instead but in the two roof colors, I am making, this was a classic Colorworks color, and then this one was a, a we, no, a DMC. And so I just decided to pull. Those are really pretty. These two colors to be my roof colors. Yep, they're perfect. And I have enough fabric to stitch, like of the prehistoric, to stitch this one on if I choose, but I might do a different color by um, color and cotton instead. Oh, okay. Like cottage stone. Yes, I think I'm going to go to with cottage stone. I think also. I'm going to. Like we did this because Maggie wants to stitch this. So I pull, we did a floss toss doing that particular thing uh -huh. while we were at the shop. Because working hard, right? <laughs> and like <laughs> we, were <working. laughs> we were. But like because we had it in both the count she needed for Ada. And then we also had it in um, in linen. And so we were like. Hmm. And this one over here, you should totally get it. You should get it. I dare you should get it. I'm like, fine, no, fine. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I didn't buy it. I, I have left. it in my stash at the store. So, but now we gotta figure out where to get more. So I think I'm gonna call the her shop and see if they have any more of it. Who? Uh the gal that does color the and color cotton. and cotton. Because mm -hmm. she doesn't have it on her website. It's that uh, cottage stone isn't available like to buy from her website. I wonder, I wonder if, if they have it in the shop. Oh, weird. So anyway, okay. So that's one haul that I got. Good. Um, so one of the things that I got for Christmas, I've shown this pattern in the past, and this was in my bag of things that I would like kitted for Christmas. So I basically just told my husband, go to my cubby at work and buy things, and he did. There's a lot in there. So I'm going to stitch this on 10 count um, vintage cloth by Lori Holt in the color, in the black color. Is it for Micah? Is this for it, This Micah? is for my, yeah, for my, my middle. And then the, all the white, sorry, all the white stitches on there is going to be a glow in the dark. Oh, oh, oh yes. So it'll be like, I'm going to have to double up because this is number four. Mm -hmm. but it'll be fine because this is like 10 count so the holes are ginormous yeah they're huge. i still need to get all the dmcs but that's awesome i love it there's like blends and stuff i got this off etsy it's alaton embroidery on etsy that is a really cool chart i love that and it's small it's like we well but not it's, on 10 count no but it's no i mean even yes correct <laughs> on 10 count is gonna be humongous it'll be a little bit. um but it's 53 by 61. Oh, okay. So it'll be a nice size for his room. It'll yeah. Be perfect. Okay. And he'll be like, this is so cool, mom. I'll be like, I know. I know. All right. I love you. I know. Mm -hmm. All right. How many more things you got a to lot. share? A lot. All right. You go. You, you want me to go? Yeah, you go. Because I've only got a couple. So I have one, two, three, four. Okay. Two. Okay. Two I'll, show, I'll show another. Okay. So also for Christmas, um, my husband... I think I don't know who it was that chose this. It was one of the kids chose this one. Ooh. Little House Needleworks, thirteen colonies. Oh, I love that one. This is because of Pam from Pam and Steph. She mm -hmm. finished this, and I was like, "What is that? It's amazing. Need it." And I am, of course, going to be stitching this on Olympia by Mystic. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, but he kitted it up with all the oh, threads. Oh, what a good guy. And remember how I was like, oh, I want a new start. I want a new start. And you were like trying to get me to like, I was like, help me choose. Remember that time? <laughs> yeah, I do. And then I didn't start anything. I ended up working on lips. Like, oh, a, like a good little like girl. Like a good girl. Mm -hmm. So I have this I as, support it. 
So this is basically kitted. So again, with the kit parade. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, about that. So that's going to be fun. Um, I'll do another. Okay. Um, so um, in previous video, I had talked about modern tidings, which is that um, Downton Abbey. Oh, mm -hmm. actually, I need to get this out here. Hold this for a second because it'll make more sense if I show the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. We're good. Stay. Sit, Ubu. Okay. So there was, um, it was like, I don't know, November... November Forbidden Fiber Co. put out like a thing for a mystery cross-stitched kit. You didn't know what it was going to be. You just knew that you were going to be getting a cross-stitch that was Downton Abbey themed. You, oh. had no, you, had, you didn't know what it was going to be. It was a mystery, hence the name, mystery cross-stitch. But you knew it was Downton Abbey. But you knew it was Downton Abbey. Okay. You knew the theme it was Downton Abbey, but it could be anything. Right. From Downton Abbey. And as I said before, I love Downton Abbey. Mm -hmm. So... I had talked about in a previous video about this chart and how this was one that I was hoping to buy. Mm, mm -hmm. Well, then she had a sale, so I bought it. And I was talking about then how I hoped it would be a specific character. Oh. Mm -hmm. So this is the bag it comes in. Oh, cute. Yes. And it's that like Countess purple. It's got a little charm on it. That came with your. It came with the kit. It was kit? it was a kit like a mystery That's so kit. Cool. Yeah. So if you if you get pre ordered kits from her, like kits, this is usually how it comes. Cute. Boxes awesome. are different. Okay, so it came the kit I bought, but I'm not using this fabric is 25 count Countess, which is the same color as the one for Sybil. Oh, okay. Okay, but I'm not using 25 count. I'm actually going to stitch this on Olympia because it's 36 count and it will be perfect. And you're already stitching on 36 no. count. Yes. So that way they... For the other, so that they're so the they same size. So they match. Yes, yeah. yeah, so they're the you. same size. And the reason why they have to match... Mm -hmm. <laughs> is because... You guys. The amount of squealing that happened when I pulled this out. I about had a freaking heart attack. My husband was like... <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> but like, then I showed him, he's like, oh, like he gets it. Uh -huh. Because this is my favorite character in the whole freaking show is Branson. So what this says is, sometimes a hard sacrifice must be made for a future that's worth having. If that isn't true, I don't know what is. Mm -hmm. But like, that's that was the stitch that came that's in awesome. the kit. And that is what I needed because, there you go. Yep. But yep. see, not only is it Branson, it's chauffeur Branson looking through the window at Sybil going, I love you. Mm-hmm. Yep. There you go. That is correct. That is why I must have it. And I got it and I was so excited and it was on sale. I was so excited. I can't because top it, that. It was I just, so good. I can't, I can't top it. You can't top what? What you just talked about. It's just like, there's no topping that. Oh, please. <laughs> Oh, I'll top it. Trust me. I'll show you something amazing. So these are the threads and they're specific for the stitch and they're themed for the stitch as well. Like gravestone, which if you know, you know what that means. Unpublished um, chapters, which if you know, you know. <laughs> Irish Isle, like an aisle in the grocery store because he stays in his lane. He's a chauffeur. Mm -hmm. Or something. I don't know. I'm guessing that one. The rest is detail. He says that to her. <laughs> Inkwell, dangerous revolutionary. This green. Mm -hmm. I think that's the color in his coat. Like Probably. the dark part in his coat. Haunted, grayish, which I think is a regular color. It's like a gray, gray, mm -hmm. gray, beige, <laughs> grayish, a grayish uh, medallion, which is like in the buttons. Mm -hmm. So these, this is that is so fun. And then Love on it. on the stitch that I that I'm doing for Sybil, it also, this kit also came with a needle minder that was a Downton Abbey needle minder that was green. I put it on the stitch because I was like, hey, time to turn and burn on Sybil because mm -hmm. I need to get to Branson. Yep, there you go. Here. And hopefully this will be a sign to Forbidden Fiber Co. to keep making more of these because... More of the characters? Yes, please. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need a violet next. Thank you. <laughs> Granny Violet is the business. 
<laughs> and she's so funny. Like I'll watch it. I'll put it on that on the TV instead of watching it on my phone. And even John will start laughing when she talks because she's so funny. Because she's just like, just get over yourself. And you know, like, just peasant, right? I love it. She's just so funny. Anyway, so mm -hmm. you show something now because okay. I feel like a glutton. Oh, you're fine. You're totally fine. So um, it was funny. One of the the projects that you talked about that was part of our WIPCO uh -huh. was before Christmas. And then for Christmas, my oldest daughter bought me. Oh, I have to be careful how I show this. So yes. anyway, it it's a printout because it's a PDF. It's yeah. not an actual printed chart. And, and they don't have like a really good photo. It's not great. Anyway, but this is called Long Journey. Um, and it's by um, Mara and, and Eva. I think that's what. And you can get this on the Stitching Coven. I think is what it's called. Um, and it's awesome. It's on all Etsy. it's Lord of the Rings themed. Um, it's got the one ring and the fellowship and it's I'm such a nerd when it comes to Lord of the Rings. So this is one that I actually have as a whip. So if you watch our whip parade, I'm stitching just this part. So um, and I might revive that for my small. Oh, oh, you could. Oh, you totally could. But my daughter, she's so cool. She bought me all the floss. So That's she, a really? Yep. That is a lot of thread. So By the way. there's a ton of colors. Look at this. Look at this thread list. The floss list. So the only thing that I have left to get, and she bought me a box. I got a bobbin box. Nice. Because she's um, a bobbin person. And, What's in and then it, oh, came, yeah. it came with the, um, it came with a needle minder that's Gandalf. What? Wait. What? what? And then did you add that? This I had. That's I, brilliant. I've had this forever. Okay. okay hold on. Let's show so, this one. This mm -hmm. is one that we've shown on Nerdy yeah. by Brie so she, on Etsy. Yeah, so she um, had the needle minder, which I needed. And then this is the Lorien leaf. I've had this needle minder uh, eight years. I've had it for a really long... I don't even remember where I got it. But was it like a pin or something that you I'm turned into? That, that, I'm guessing oh, yeah, that look. they did. No, that they, oh. That it was... Pro like I bought it on Etsy like ages ago. Oh, that's brilliant. And so I remember See, this is that the thing that they put on their cloak mm -hmm. to tie their cloak closed. Yes, I know. I'm such a... I'm a total nerd. Anyway, show your purse. So I found, oh, I do. This was another Christmas gift. It's not stitching related. But, but see? And she's got. I got all the. All the hobbits. Yeah. And there's another leaf. Right what there. about second breakfast? Yeah, what about second breakfast? I just. Dinner. Yeah. Anyway. Luncheon. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a super Lord of the Rings nerd. But um, anyway, so that was from my, my oldest. That was my gift from her. And so thank you, Kylie, for being so awesome. I know. And when, she, when she sent me she the picture. She knows my weaknesses. Yeah, when she, sure. sent, she sent me the picture. And I was like, so yep. long. Yep. Anyway, so that was really. I don't have fabric yet, so I haven't started. Um, but I, if, Yeah, I think when I stitch the actual stitch, it's going to be on like 36 count. You know, some kind of a whitish color that's it's not. It's a big. It's long and skinny. It's huge. Yeah, 130 by 316. It's, so it's, it's long and skinny. Long so you need like at least a fat core or a, fat a half. that half or a half yard long and skinny yeah because it's long and narrow yeah. but anyway depending so on like Kylie. count or whatever so and I, i'll have i have one more but okay. go ahead all right so this is kind of plans so actually i'll wait to oh. talk about that sorry okay so oh yes finally okay it so i have been kidding up my shadow lane for like three years at this point it is the Sleeping Beauty, their Sleeping Beauty Castle is what it's called. It's it so is awesome. Chart number, online class ninety five anniversary Sleeping Beauty Castle is what they call it's it. It's fantastic. So, this thing is humongous. Okay, it's a really big. It's giant. It's um, three thirty two by three twenty six. It's huge. So I am going to be stitching this on 28 Count Lugana in the color Olympia by Mystic Fabrics because. <laughs> yeah. Oh but I gosh. had to buy a whole yard <laughs> because this is so big, right? And I need to have the appropriate amount around, mm -hmm. all the way around. To so why did you decide to do 28 Count? Because it calls for that because it oh. has beads and all mm -hmm. the things. Okay. okay. Good. So, um, I've, this will be my first shadowing and of course it's giant. Mm-hmm. It's not the biggest hey, chatelaine there is, go home. but it's pretty damn close, guys. Oh, sorry. I said a word. 
Oh, sorry. Forgive me. Okay. So my husband finished kitting this thing for me for Christmas. The only thing he didn't buy me was the DMCs, which I picked up myself. Those are easy to get. Though. Yeah. Like, so this is the DMCs. This is all the DMC there is. <laughs> Guys, this is it. This is all the DMC. The rest is specialty threads. That's fantastic. So like there's Rainbow Gallery, um, Petite Treasure Braid. Mm-hmm. Look at all those. And so he went on one, two, three, stitch. A few of these I got at um, Stitch West. Mm -hmm. like when we were, were I remember you were shopping yeah, around and, for those. But he got a few of them from, um, from one, two, three, stitch because I wrote where to buy things. Because he's like, where do I get this stuff? I don't even know. And I'm like, and I just told him to go on one, two, three, stitch because it'd be easier if he didn't want to call somewhere. And mm -hmm. he just wanted this super secret, just buy things on his phone, which is what how he usually <laughs> shops. So, um, so these are all the threads. I support it. The sparkly. Th these are all the sparkly threads. <laughs> okay. And these are the silks. Wow. That is a lot of silk, it, my friend. It really is, but it's gloriously amazing. It is. And it Here. uses. How can I help you? I don't know. Help me help you. Yeah. So it has one. It has one wildflower by Karen, which is kind of like a pearl silk. And then these are all the um, water lilies, which are silks. Mm -hmm. So you wow. hold that. And then there's a bunch of Gloriana's, which the reason why this took so long to kit is because Gloriana's have been like unicorns trying to find them, right? Mm -hmm. It's been hard to find them, hard to kit them. Um, and finally, I was able to get the last specialty thread by them. So these are just the regular 12-stranded silk by Gloriana. And then are these so are a specialty thread that I had to call them and be like, yo, where is this order at? Because I've been requesting it since last July or something. I think I talked about it in a flossy where I remembered. Oh, yeah. You waited like a year or something. something crazy. It was more than that. So that's an awesome color though. And you can't reproduce this. This no. is like something that they make and it's a petite, petite princess pearl, which is like a pearl. It's like a pearl cotton. That's really, but that with the greens and the blues and the pinks. And, I know oh, you so just, pretty. you cannot reproduce this. And I got an extra skein more than what I actually need. Just in smart. case, right? Very smart. Because it took so freaking long to get them in the first place. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and then these are all dinky dyes in greens and like a creamy greens because it's oh, that's gonna be dreamy because it's all like roses and where are you starting you you start in the center no when oh <laughs> not where i have when? to get, i have to get it on the giant scroll rod okay then he also got me the bead pack wow Okay, so Look that's at how fun that is. So this is the bead pack. This is from European Cross Stitch. This is the best place if you're wanting to do a shadow lane and you need to kit up the beads and the treasures and all that stuff. That's the best place to do it and the fastest way to do it if you're in the US. Just because then they just do it for you and they give you what you need. Yeah, wow, that's impressive. Okay, and then this also has a bunch of like cubes, like cubes oh, and cool. treasures and like all kinds of Swarovski crystal yeah things. like all kinds of different pretty things that go throughout the stitch so like some of these cubes these cuby ones those actually go in these pools all the way around Ooh, neat they go like I think in the center or something oh, I can't remember be so awesome so I don't know <laughs> if you saw that but yeah, like, so there, see these, like, little, because these are meant to be, like, a, a garden inside of castle walls, mm -hmm. right? And what's amazing is this is, like, the Hans Christian Andersen or whoever wrote that story originally. So it starts out with just a regular rose garden. And then each turn over 100 years, there's more and more roses because mm -hmm. it's the original story. That's really cool. So that is, that was my, my big gift. Love it. Because it cost a lot to get. This wasn't that expensive compared to other bead kits by, for shadowing. Because 
other bead kits can this actually doesn't have that many beads or treasures in it compared to other shadowlings mm -hmm. for how giant this is it just it uses more silks than other things yeah. so it's oh, gonna be so pretty that was the big the big, that was the big one i'm hoping to start it soon um i need to see if once i get it on the scroll rod if my lap stand will be able to handle it or not because it's so big mm -hmm. i don't know if it'll like mess up the arm because oh. i've already been having trouble because i've had it for so long and oh. i use Do you think it you'll so need often. to get a bigger one yeah i'm thinking like a floor stand because it'll be able to accommodate that's a weight. big piece too yeah to so, accommodate yeah. the weight of the stitch because mm -hmm. especially once i start adding all the things yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean so anyway okay and i i have one more thing that's technically haul but it goes in with my plans oh okay so do you have any more haul? I just have one. Okay. It was, um, yeah, so, <laughs> um, I, mean, I have a, I have a stash. You're so funny. Those colors are dreamy. They're, They're beautiful. So good. I love them. I love them. I, I'm, and I, I know this looks crazy, but like, I bit again, I bit, it's not like I got all this right now. I've been kidding this for a long time, a long time. Mm -hmm. because I, you know, I'm on a budget. Uh, yeah, aren't we all? Yeah, but like, you know, I, this is something I want to do. Yeah, for sure. And I, I was like, hey, if I go through the process of kidding this, I can't just be like, eh, I'm not going to yeah. stitch this. <laughs> no, I actually need to stitch it. And I already have a plan and my husband's on board when I'm done That's to great. send it to Renzel Studios. To have it framed. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because this thing is so freaking giant and there's, it's such a huge piece. It needs to be piece. professionally it needs framed. Professionally framed in the way they do things. Yeah, for sure. Agreed. Like with pretty like roses painted on the mat and or just like that. Yeah. Anyway. Awesome. I have a long way to go still. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, your turn. Uh, yeah. So um, like Cheryl at the store, I have my own little stash of cubby. Cubby of things. Anyway, so I've been working on kidding this one up for a, little, a while. It's been sitting there. So my husband walked in, I don't know, like a, a week, week before, before Christmas. Christmas and I was working. <laughs> And um, he said, yeah, so I came in here to get some stuff for my wife for Christmas. Talking to her. He's talking to me. <laughs> and I said, okay, you know, uh, what do you think you're interested in? Well, he, I, I thought she had some stuff that maybe was behind the counter. And I said, well, I might be able to help you out with that. <laughs> so I brought out my bag of, of and stuff. And then he chose? And Actually, he just bought what was, I only had this one thing in there. So How's anyway. that happen? How'd that happen? Because um, I put bought. a lot of stuff back, I think. I don't know. Um, I just kind of thinned it out. Anyway, I've been wanting to do Spring Quaker for a long time um, by Lila's Studio. So, um, oh, this uses classic color work. I didn't know that. Yeah, I know. I thought so too. Oh. And so that's the chart. And um, I am going to stitch it on uh, 36 count Swiss Mocha. Perfect color for that. Um, by Grace Notes. It's like a pinky. It's oh, not yeah. showing out as pink. But it's like a pinky orangey. It's like a salmon almost. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like it's um like dusty pink, dusty yes, pinky dusty mauvey. Pink. And so of. there's the floss colors, and so he kitted that up for me for Christmas, and so um, that's funny. I'm eager to <laughs> to get that on the list, but um because I got the autumn one too. So anyway, that was that which was is funny. the one you've been waiting for. I know. Yeah, he's such a sweetie. Um, yeah, so he talks about the sales associate from Maggie's on Main, which is me. So he's a guru. Anyway. All right. So I only have one other. I just have a story, but you've got So your plans. I have plans. I mean, really what I'm going to be working on mm -hmm. for the next bit is um, my plan is to, I think I wrote down my plan so I wouldn't forget what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, so... Whipgo, which we already I already showed what mm -hmm. I'm working on for February, so I'm going to do that in conjunction with my daily thirty is my plans, mm -hmm. and then um, I'm going to work on this quilt. Oh, is that so cute for my oldest son? That it's already fully cut out, and I've already pieced all of the little plants. So I am cute. starting with the giant, huge Stegosaurus. There's what is there? One, two, three, four, five. There's six of each dinosaur in different colors. That is so cute. And I have it all, everything cut for the whole kit, the whole 
quilt is cut, mm -hmm. starched and cut and in bags and ready to make. Wow. And I started this like three years ago and it's stupid because it needs to get done. Well, he's going to be in high school by the time. Well, I asked him this morning. I'm like, are you still going to want this? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, even when your friends come over when you're 15 and it's on your bed and they're like, why do you have a dinosaur quilt on? And then you can be like, yo, my mom made that. You got a problem? <laughs> exactly. Like, that's how it has to go down. That's right. Like, you have to have it for the rest of your life. <laughs> and he's like, okay, mom. Sure, mom. Yeah, whatever. Yes. I still that want it. That is a really it. cute um, quilt. So, um, it's by cute. Elizabeth Hartman. She's full of these amazing type of quilts. Um and a lot of baby pieces. So if you look at the Stegosaurus, which is the first one I'm doing, it's the one that's the most complicated and it's the biggest, it's one of the biggest ones with that's the most lot. pieces. Mm -hmm. So I am going to be chain piecing by color. Oh, smart. So I'm working on each step. So I'm not making each individual color dinosaur once and then do it again and then do it again and then do it again. No, I'm just gonna chain piece that step for all of the colors. That's smart. Very smart. And do it by block. That's great. So that's that so one. So cute. So cute. <sighs> but I have to make it bigger by adding an extra border around it or something, like an eight inch border. So I have to find this background fabric. It's a Robert Kaufman. I should, it's like a regular, oh, it's one of the Kona colors, like Kona solids. So I should be able to find it, but mm -hmm. we don't carry that at the shop. So I'll have to like find it somewhere else. But it's fine. Right. So anyway, so I have this. I'm going to work on this. And I have a baby quilt that I have to make not for me. <laughs> Shop's closed on that. <laughs> um, but I have a... Uh, my brother-in-law and his wife are expecting another baby. And um, by the way, if you don't have this quilt book in your stash, it's a great resource for half-yard quilts. It's a great way to show fabric in quilts. <laughs> but I am making this quilt, not in these colors at all. Um, it's called Mirage. But it's a perfect it's little baby size. It's 56 and a half by 56 and a half. So it'll be great floor quilt mm -hmm. for the baby to like, you know, tummy time or whatever. Mm -hmm. Put it down with her toys. Yeah. And, and so this is a, a fabric that Jeanette gave me because... I was like looking for it and couldn't find it and they didn't have all the colors I wanted at Pine Needles and she's like I have that don't even buy it and I'm like sweet I did <laughs> I happen to have a bunch of it so in my she stash. had all of this in her stash mm -hmm. no you didn't have this one no I think I did did you mm -hmm. no I think I bought that I think you had these it doesn't matter she was gonna use it to make a quilt bag for something else mm -hmm. um and she gave me these and then Either she had this one and or not. I don't remember. I don't remember now. But I bought this one. And then this is gonna be the back the background. So that's, oh, that's with cute. the pe this is gonna be a border. Mm hmm And this is gonna be the binding. Very cute. And then <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I can do it. I have two extra sets of hands here. I know. There. <laughs> She's determined. So it's gonna be and That's really cute. So this is going to be all the blocks. Basically, this is the blocks mm -hmm. right here. It'll be super cute. And then this will be Aww. the border and then the binding. And then I don't know about the back because I haven't figured that out. But it also, this line is called um, the C and me. The C and me. Mm -hmm. Like, let's make sure I actually say that right. By Stacy Itsu for um, Moda Fabrics. She, this is a line a while ago now. So you can yeah, probably still find it online, but I don't know exactly oh look how cute so it's it's a it, you can make dolls so I, it, there's three dolls on how the panel how stinking cute is that and then there's little like accessories for the dolls so then and then you make the little tails and then you make the little mermaid tails and then they're already dressed to have like little bikinis on so then it matches and coordinates with but look at this little guy you got little lobster yeah that's their toy that fits in the bag they have their own little bag and little that you bag. make and then they, ha so they so have their own thing. purse with their own little toy, the doll does. So, and there's three of them. So my plan was to make two or all three dolls and then to send two of them for the baby's big sister. And then the, the third doll to be for the baby. So that when the big sister and the baby grow up, they can play, they together. Can play together. But then it's something that 
Those are really that cute. The big sister is getting that goes with the baby things mm -hmm. because she's two, and you know how that can be when there's a new sibling introduced. Oh yeah, this is the second child being mm -hmm. born, so you know how that can kind of go. That is so cute. So I'm just wanting to make sure that big sister knows that she is loved too, and that she's going to get some cool swag also. That's so cool from Love her it. auntie, and um, yeah, so that's the plan. And this is the theme of the nursery, was like under the sea, like mermaids and so whales cute. and stuff. And I'm like, I have the perfect freaking line for that. I got to find it. There you go. There it is. Done. So that is one of my plans for the upcoming month when I have time. I don't know how much time I'm going to have, but you know, here we are. Here we the are. Baby's due in March. So right, you got a little bit of time. Yeah. Got a little bit. Let me just get right on top of that, Rose. All right. Do you have any more plans? I'm working on Whipgo. Um, I have a couple new starts I may throw in, but I, I haven't really, I'm kind of, we're moving. So long story yeah. short, we're moving um, probably. She's moving to Texas. I'm, I'm kidding. Not moving. That's what she said to me. I'm moving. I'm like, <laughs> what? And she's like, yeah, we're moving to Texas, like deadpan. <laughs> and I'm like, shut the front door. No, you're not. No. She's like, no, really, we are. And I'm like, no, really, you're not. <laughs> I was mean. Anyway. You we're, were mean. We're not. You all gave me a heart attack. I know. She almost killed me. Anyway, we're not moving to Texas. Long story short, um, we're moving um, about two miles away from where we're living con uh, right currently. now, currently. And um, so next month, probably for the next couple of months, we're going to be kind of in dribs and drabs. We're going to end up moving into that house and then renting our existing house potentially to a family friend um they're moving up from southern idaho and they need a place so anyway long story short yeah and the rental market sucks around here right yeah, now. yeah so. and so my stitching plans are kind of um they're all over the place because i don't know where i'm going to be yeah also my etsy shop is currently closed because my sewing room is soon to be completely <laughs> torn apart which is why we're filming at my house yeah, and, and you probably will be for a while. Yeah, so until I apologize. For, so for those of you, I've gotten some emails. I've gotten some messages through um, Etsy. People asking for things. I apologize profusely. Um, it will probably be closed until May. May. No, not that long. Yeah, I'm hoping that reopen in March. But with the move and my whole sewing room being completely torn apart, I can't sew. And yeah. so it's kind of throwing everything out of whack. Um, so I apologize for those of you that have reached out and I am so grateful for you and your patience. Um, yeah, so as far as stitching goes, I'm just gonna kind of work on what I've already got going because it's gonna be kind of hit and miss for the next couple of months. Yeah. So anyway. So the other plan that I have um, is a stitch along. And it's an informalish one. There will be a hashtag. Um, I'm doing it with um, Amy from X Stitching and Adventures. She's on Instagram, and she also has a new floss tube channel. Um, it's Amy. Amy, Michelle's sister. Oh yes. Okay, wanted yeah. to make sure we were talking about the same. Yeah, Amy. same Amy. Okay, so she had just recently done a whip parade, and she showed um, one of these charts, cuisine Francais which is called French Kitchen, basically. It's cute. By, it was that. a collaboration between Hands-On Design and Summer House Stitch Works. Mm -hmm. And um, there are five charts. Cool. So um, we're doing a stitch along where you pick a design from this series mm -hmm. and you stitch with us. And it's going to be like, okay. I think, Cuisine Francaise Sal or something like that. I'll post a thing. So that's, Those are great. And um, I have everything. So if you'll notice on this picture, and well, all of the ones that are monthly ones, they all have this board. Mm. And I have the board. I have the charms. Oh, very cool. Because they're meant to be like a, a seasonal stitch. So you swap them out every quarter. And it's got like this little, does it have a little clip? Yeah, it's a little clip that you add. Or that, or that, not you add, but you clip it to the board. Mm -hmm. And so Amy and I, I, I immediately was like, yo. So, because she was saying, I think I need to get back to this, you know, in her floss tube for her whip parade. And she said that, and I was like, I've been wanting to make these. And these were in my two kit 
for Christmas, mm -hmm. but it was not chosen from my family members. And I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to just do it anyways. So I checked that I already have the floss list. Look, this is Downton Abbey. This is how much I like Downton Abbey. This is a Downton Abbey notepad. <laughs> Anyways, these are all the colors that I need for all, like all the threads that are used throughout the design. That's awesome. Some of them repeat, some of them don't. It's all on hand, hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie or fabrics by Stephanie, mm -hmm. which I don't have any of it, but I do have 32 count fawn. Oh, that's pretty. By picture this plus. <laughs> Here. So, um, I decided that since this design is meant to it's the box you finish it into a box and then you put the cute little fruit charms and stuff on oh, to the box cute. see mm -hmm. right there so um i'm going to finish it just like this i love it and the whole point of it is that you're supposed to put the the stuff in the box the stitches that are not being used on the oh, uh -huh. on the board yep, right yep so this is where you store them that is fantastic and then so i this is kind we'll of do the box first. I'm gonna do the box first, and then I got I got haul in the sense I bought the threads for the first one because I didn't have the threads at all. I didn't have any of the threads, and um, oh, wow. the one thing that I did change I did all the weeks and um, does it does it call for drives? I didn't think it did. I think we were out of a color. Oh. It all calls for weeks. The whole the whole list is weeks that works. But we were out of one of the colors. So I just pulled a green that we had oh, at the okay. shop. And it's in the color chives, which totally goes. Yeah, it's perfect. It's like the right name and everything. Chives, get it? Uh-huh, I got you. And then instead of using grits, which is essentially just, you know, DMC 712. I just pulled DMC 712 and used that instead. That's perfect. So I'm planning to start start this next weekend with Amy. So if you want to start a lot, start one too, if you have these in your stash or if you don't and you're like, those are freaking cute. How did I miss those? They came out like in 2021, I think. It was an expo. It was when there wasn't market. 2019. Well, this was 2020. So I guess it depends. Some of them are 2019. 20, this one says 2021. Oh. So I think they were all released together, but they maybe like printed them ahead of time because be. they do collaborations. I'm pretty sure that's when they were released was for Expo, Needlework Expo, which was the answer to not having market and in-person market because right. of the pandemic, whatever. Right, right. Anyway, so um, this was all released then and I was like, <laughs> Must have it. Yes, please. Um, so if you're interested in stitching along with us, if you have these charts and you want to stitch along, or even if you don't, I think we have some of the charts still at the shop. Mm -hmm. um, or if you need to kit it, whatever. Um, there you go. Yeah, so this is a plan. And um, I think we decided on a hashtag, which I think is we're going to do Cuisine Francais. Which is the name of the the main box chart? So cuisine Francais is oh what. okay gotcha. That's but okay. we might make it just be French kitchen style instead because most people don't speak French. <laughs> in, well, in America yeah. is what I mean. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, these, um, if you're interested, stitch along with us. Awesome. It'll be it'll be fun. It's starting next weekend. Love it. Probably next Saturday or Sunday. There's no official date, right? We're just we're just making this up as we go, people. That's good. So that's all my plans, really. All that right. and market prep. Cool. Yep, that's pretty much it for me, too. So I have one little story I'm going to share really quick. Okay. Um, it's nothing to do with... What's that? Anything else. So last... When we did our whip parade, um, <gasps> I should... I showed my... I didn't... No, hold on. There's a story. Okay. It's, it's actually really cool. Okay. So um, I showed my oldest whip. So it was a cross stitch that I had started when I was a teenager. It was my, my, my mom start, taught me how to cross stitch. It's the one and... that was America with the flowers. Yeah, it's uh, Monarch Horizons, I think, was the name of the, the company. Kit, of the kit who made it. Yeah, and it's flowers of state flowers. It's called state flowers. Anyway, so I showed my, and it, it's in really rough shape, you guys. Seriously. It's fine. I was a teenager when I was working on this. And talk about no margin. I have no margin, so I don't know what I'm going to do at the top here. We'll anyway, figure it out. So I had a lot of people that complimented on it. 
And they're like, you should get that done. Well, I can't, it's so old that I couldn't find, I didn't have the floss or the pattern or the pattern. And so she had messaged me on I like the know, next day, the next day. She said, look, I found this on eBay. And I'm like, what? So, somehow there was a complete kit on eBay, eBay unopened. I had all the things together and, and I did not, did it? I did not. So, um, I had a gal, a customer that bought a bag from me in December mm -hmm. and she messaged me and she said, can I have your mailing address? I want to send you something. And I said, well, sure. No problem. I, I had no idea what she was sending me. Turns out yesterday, this came in the mail yesterday. <gasps> so what, can we share her name? I will. Amy? I'm going okay. to. Yeah, I'm going to. Look what she did. She went on eBay and she bought me the kit. So here it is. Oh the my gosh. The whole kit that she bought. I thought that was the coolest. I, oh, I had no idea what it was. So her name is Amy. I won't give her last name. I, just, yeah. I don't want to divulge any of her personal information. She's in Nebraska. So she watches our floss tube. Amy, you have no idea how awesome this is. And I just have to say thank you so much. Anyway, I'm going to read this little note that she wrote on here. It just says, Hey, Jeanette, hope this is a pleasant surprise to you. I saw your project and decided to try and find it. I hope Cheryl and I were not bidding against we each weren't. other. We weren't. We were not. <laughs> um, I hope Cheryl and I were not bidding against each other for this. Now you can get a finish. Love watching you both, Amy. So thank Amy, you. oh my gosh, that is the most thoughtful thing ever. She so this has inspired me to finish. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna what I'm gonna do about the top. We'll make it work. It's we'll figure so, it out. <laughs> it's in rough shape. We could put it into a quilt, like make it into a quilt top. I thought about doing yeah. something like that. I'll make it work somehow. But oh, anyway, that is so awesome. But yeah, now I don't have to buy it for you because <laughs> I was gonna buy it. Okay, I really was, but I was like, what if I like buy it and then she like it's like. Why would she do this? Oh, no. Now well, I have to And I was it. tempted. I didn't even think to look on eBay. The pattern Are is... Are you kidding? I am all about the vintage you know, life. And so... Vintage cross-stitch on eBay is where it's at. But to find it brand new, unopened... That is awesome. I don't even know where it's from. The original price tag is cut off. But anyway, Amy, thank you. That is the How awesome thing. is that? So now I can finish... Look at that color palette. Yeah. It's all the original colors and everything. So I just thought that was... I had to share... And make sure that Amy got a huge shout out for That's being awesome. so thoughtful. And um, yeah, it came in the mail yesterday. So yeah. Did you cry? No, I didn't cry, but I was like, oh my. And I, so then I told my family about it and they're like, okay, mom, you know. <laughs> they don't get it. They don't get it. They're not sisters. I mean, they did, but my, yeah. my oldest one did for sure because she, she, <laughs> she crossed but, edges. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so that was it for me. So I'm going to add this probably to my list of. Put it in your whip go. Yeah. Somehow, like, add it to different I don't know. themes. Or I'll something. find somewhere. To or put it in the free space. I could do that. Free space. I'll work on it because now I have all the stuff again. And so I think it'd be cool to. How exciting. Finish my oldest. <laughs> Yay. Kind of fun. So, anyway, that's really exciting. But that's it for me. Yes, that's it. It is for me, too. So, yeah, it's going to be a, a crazy couple of months. Yeah. But um, we'll be back yes. soon and um, probably do a. Maybe. Update before we go to market, maybe? Maybe. Um, because maybe we might talk about our floss tube anniversary and maybe talk about like a pre-market update. So that way when we get home from market, the update isn't so humongous. Yeah. Because that's going to be a big one. A big one. So, yeah. all right. Well, that's all I got. Thanks for hanging with yeah. us, you guys. You guys are amazing. Yes. We are so grateful for your support and yes. um, for hanging out with us. Yes. And we'll see you next time. Yep. Talk Thanks. to you later. Bye. Bye.